So today we pay tribute to the genius who first decided to combine the awesomeness of popcorn together with the decadence of caramel. Today we celebrate Caramel Popcorn Day. We're joined by the gorgeous Gabriella to share her favorite caramel popcorn donut. And not just any donut, but a vegan version. Hey well now. done. Is a vegan, 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 vegan? vegan. Love vegan. it. So Love no it even more. Egg, no no. Honey, no anything to do with animals or animal byproducts. But a whole lot of sweetness. Exactly. So, Gabs, you genius, you are a genius today. Thank you. Thank um, you. Along with the people who thought it. of this day as being <laughs> a celebrated thing. Um, Thank okay, you. so where do we begin? What's going into our beautiful mix here? So, how we do our vegan donuts as a base is I'm going to add some coconut oil. Okay. Obviously, with vegans, you don't have butter. For sure. So, we're using our coconut oil as our fat today. And you can get completely like odorless, tasteless coconut oil. Oh, yeah, oil which is such well, a win. You have your great, cooking yeah. one, which is great because you don't actually get that taste because I, I often find with stuff that uses a lot of coconut it's often tastes too much like coconut you want it to have yeah, its own it does flavor kind of, um, into through cool so we've got essence. Yeah, vanilla essence or extract and then we've got some sugar and we've got maple syrup oh. um, if you aren't vegan and you want a bit more of a budget then you can just have honey instead okay um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk this up here Oh, Quite vigorously. Like, maple's got kind of an earthy taste yes, to it as well, so which kind good. of lends its own 100%. flavor slant. 100%. So we're basically whisking this up here. And then what I'm going to do is I've got applesauce. Applesauce is often used also like in gluten-free baking ah. because it's quite thick. So you could also use actually a mashed up banana. I was going to say banana as well. You could to. do yeah. that, yeah. So I just quite like applesauce. It's obviously naturally sweet, which is also nice. Yeah, it's got, it's got readily available sugar that comes in a, a handy ready to eat exactly. format. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then I've got some almond milk, or, or you can use coconut milk. Okay. And which I'm going to pour in there, which we just slightly warmed up. I mean, a lot of what's going in here is pretty healthy stuff. I yeah, won't lie. 100%. You know, I, I, I always say really that healthy. to justify the fact that we're, we're going to be putting these gorgeous, delicious, decadent sweets in our mouth. Here mm. we go. So what we've got here now is we've got a gluten-free flour mix. Okay. So this is also gluten-free, which is a win. And we've got some ground almonds. Nice, another substitute uh, we've seen to flour coming in. Yes. Really handy. And our bicarb and baking soda. Okay. Give us one more little stir. And then, you're not overdoing the mixing no. either, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to overdo it because then you start kind of losing your volume. But the most exciting thing is often you need, in baking, if you want something to pop up a little bit, you use egg whites. Ah, obviously, okay. if you're vegan, you don't eat egg. Sure. So, what we've got here is something called aquafaba. Aquafaba. What aquafaba is, is the liquid that you find in a tin of chickpeas. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so if you'd like all of these ingredients, things we've gone really, you can push the boat out with these. You can go, um, you can SMS the keyword sweet to 33728 and we'll send you a link with that ingredients list. That is incredible. Yeah, so that's kind of what it does and it whisks up exactly like an egg white, which is so cool. And that's so, just going to aerate yeah. our mixture and give us a little bit of puff. Exactly, so I'm just going to stir this in here and then all you do is you grease a small donut tin. Which we have done. Which mm -hmm. we've done and then we just pour the mixture in and bake it for about 12 minutes. Beautiful, well we finish off that process and then we um, pour our delicious sauce in which I'll yes. find out exactly what, what is in here. So it's a vegan caramel, so all I did was I took a can of coconut milk and some sugar and I reduced it down and you allow it to cook on a slow simmer for about 20 minutes. Oh, and then beautiful. you remove from the heat and add a little bit of coconut oil and there we go. And voila, there we absolutely go. amazing. That keyword is sweet to double three seven two eight. We'll send you a link and the recipe is yours, Gabs. They look absolutely Thank amazing. You. And then obviously I cannot we talk about caramel popcorn. Yeah, which I'm gonna taste decorate. as we continue <laughs> with our feel-good breakfast show. Mm.